So we are going to talk about the screen flow today. So we are going to learn flow and try to update a record using that flow. So let's click on new flow. This would open a screen like this in a new tab for you. We will go to record triggered flow and we'll create a record triggered flow like we did in the previous step for sending out an email. We'll do this, we'll search our object. So in our case, we'll select account and we'll say whenever the account is created or updated, uh, no further conditions and do a related record transaction. So whenever an account is created or updated, we are going to update the associated contacts and we'll define which field we are going to update on those contacts. So uh, let's click done here. And that's why I'm using action and related records because the contacts are the child records or the related records to the account this plus icon and what we are going to do is we are going to get record. So we are going to get all the contacts associated with that contact. So here we'll uh, with that account. So here we'll say get contacts and we'll give the object name as contact and we will give a description saying this get action fetches all the contacts associated to the account. Always uh, give descriptions because these uh, would help uh, you and the other administrators uh, using Salesforce org in future and they would easily understand what you were trying to do with this particular action, right? So here we are going to say account ID on the contact object equals to the account to the record ID. So record ID is the ID which for the particular record which has triggered this flow and the account ID is the account ID of the contact which are associated with this particular account. So we'll say uh, in any particular order we would like to store all the records and just say store all fields automatically this this is quick and easy. Uh, let's do done. And now we are going to run a loop. Now because we have got a list of contacts because there could be n number of contacts linked with the account. So hence we would need to run through a loop and then update all the fields on that uh, contact. So let's do a loop and say uh, run loop. Let's say loop over contacts we'll select the contacts from the get contact variable and we'll do first item to last item it really doesn't matter but if you have done a sorting order then it might you might need the direction here as well and for each contact we'll do an assignment and let's say update field and here we are going to update a field from the contact and what are we going to say here so here we are going to create a variable first and we are going to store the value in that so this would be a collection and it would be a collection of records and this would be the contact collection and here we are going to give the update contact list that's what we are going to do and we are going to so let's do a let's do a text field first so let's call it update description and here we are going to say record and the record is of contact type and here we are going to store just a single value. So now you'll have to select the field here, which would be the description. And now you will set it to the text template, which we have created new description. Uh, here we would set the contact, which is coming from the loop itself. We'll set that description and in the next one we'll do the assignment and we'll say update 
contact. I'll just explain you what exactly we are doing in this collection. <laughs> and now we are going to add all of this together. So the single, yeah, that's it and done. So basically what we have done is we have created a loop. We have, we are updating the field. So what we are doing here is we are updating the description here with the new description, which we have just created. And then we are storing this updated contact in a variable, uh, which is called update contact list. So it's a list of all the contacts which are updated and we are just adding each contact to this particular list. And once this is done and after this loop completes, so what we'll do is so after the last action, we are going to update the records and which we are, we'll say update contact DML. And this is where we're going to do the DML and we are going to pass the list here. So this is the list which we yeah, this is the collection and this is what we are going to update. So this is the collection which we, where we are storing all the contacts and boom, done. So now we will save this uh, flow and we'll call it uh, update contact from account. Or you can, uh, to make it more uh, meaningful, you can say update contact description from accounts as to what exactly it is doing. I'll just save it now. And what we'll do is we'll do a debug here. So let's just test what exactly uh, is happening if we update the account, this particular account. Let's try with this one. Maybe this has some contacts. Let's see. Yeah. So this has found some records. Let's see if it is looping through. Yes, it is looping through. It has done the assignment. So assignment is done. It has added the, uh, it's a here it has added the description to the loop over contacts here. It has added that contact to the list. The loop over is ended and the update has also happened here. So all the records for this uh, have been updated and then it has done the rollback. So let's see if we activate this flow now, so let's go to home. Yeah, here's our home. If we go to this particular contact, this is where we tested it. Uh, sorry, this is this account. I'll just edit it and maybe change a particular value here and click save. The contact associated with it, which was this one, should have its description updated. So let's see where's the description. We don't have the description on the page layout. No problem. We have our organizer with us this is a chrome extension which which uh, we use i'll uh, i'm going to create another video on uh, the chrome extensions and i'll cover this there but here you can quickly see the description is updated and it says the description this description is added via flow so that's how you can create a flow which would update the records for you similarly you can create more uh, flows to do further actions like send an outbound message, uh, update another record. So stuff like that you can do using a flow. So you can, you know, also create a task. You can create time dependent flows and stuff like that. So, so all of this you can do using uh, a flow. Uh, for a screen flow, a scheduled flow and auto launch flow, I would recommend you that you create those flows. And if you have any questions, reach out to me and I will explain them to you uh, in, a, in a proper fashion. So I would leave the, those three uh, as a practice for you. Those videos in future, just let me know. I'll create those videos as well. However, the process is very similar. So hence, I am intentionally not making those videos so that you uh, prepare some for yourself. If you have any questions, you can join the QA session, which happens every Friday and please drop in your comments, feedback, and any questions in the comment section, and I'll get back to you.